deliberately aimed this at a group of students who we think we can inspire and they can go back and inspire others. They spend nine till three working in the lab. They're working on a small robotic kit. This is my robot, weird, um, that we made on the first day. So we did all the soldering on the back here. The whole code thing is probably the hardest part because there's so many different lines. There's a bunch of unrecognizable stuff and you make this thing do things. I think that's really cool. Down in our nanotechnology lab, they're starting from just a bare piece of silicon and taking it right through to a solar cell. So they get some understanding of the sort of processing that's involved. You design this in one layer and this in the other layer and they fit exactly on top of each other. And the light will shine homogeneously through the whole thing uh, for 10 seconds. The light is quite strong UV, so please don't look at it for too long. see the captain's hardware here. Every afternoon at 3 o'clock we take them off to a different company so that they get to see engineers, some of them not that much older than themselves, who are working in, in companies around Christchurch. The final visit was to a modern, up-to-date house that has a roof entirely composed of solar cells. And the owner of the house is an engineer who's developed most of the systems in the house himself. What we do is we pump the hot water that comes from under the solar panels effectively through the floors. One day is dedicated to electric power engineering. They spent time in our high voltage laboratory, which is a very exciting place full of sparks and arcs. What we've done is we've connected off the top of our HP transformer. And what we do is we wind the cage up when you're in there to 100,000 volts. <laughs> So much fun. And they get to finish the day by riding our electric carts that our final year students get to build electronics for. I love the high voltage lab because it's not often that you get that kind of experience in our house. But then looking at all the nanotechnology was really awesome as well. I think the best thing was that we went from the really small to the really big. It's probably the high voltage lab. I think most people like that and I quite like it too. I really enjoyed the more like hands-on, actually getting to make the robot from like soldering it to actually programming it and making it go. I'd definitely say to give this a go. It's been an awesome week. Go for it.